The more than 90,000 miles of rivers, creeks, and streams that flow through Colorado are not just beautiful, they provide water for agriculture and for mountain communities, water to drink. A new study shows that water could be loaded with toxic heavy metals. And what we found is that metal concentrations have been rising and rising fairly abruptly. Andrew Manning is a research geologist at the U.S. Geological Survey based in Denver. He and a team of researchers looked at 40 years of water chemistry data from high elevation streams. What they found surprised even them. Metal concentrations in our Colorado mountain streams have roughly doubled over the past three decades in watersheds that contain abundant metal sulfide metals. Metals like copper and zinc that are quite toxic at high concentrations. And the reason for the drastic increase? The ultimate cause is climate change. Warmer temperatures are melting the permafrost, a frozen layer of the earth that for thousands of years has acted like a barrier, preventing water and oxygen from penetrating below a certain depth. When you begin to melt it, you create new windows for this water to an oxygen to now get down deeper into fresh, unweathered parts of the subsurface that hasn't seen this before. It picks up more metals and carries those to the stream. Streams that play a critical role in the entire mountain ecosystem. And while the effects of these metals and streams is not yet known, researchers say there will likely be impacts on the fish, the wildlife, and the communities that rely on that water to drink. Those communities will need to increase water monitoring and possibly treatment. I mean, this is a a really major shift in the mountain ecosystem, how it functions because everything up there is relying on the water. Water that is changing, as are climate changes, and we will have to learn how to adapt as well. This climate change stuff is going to have effects that we haven't even thought of yet. And this was one of them. In Golden, Keely Chalmers, Nine News. Keely, thank you. This research is far from over. Manning says the next step is to study the permafrost layer itself so researchers can better track its melting and the repercussions of it.